Welcome to the Deadly Addictions channel. Greetings. I'm going to be talking about a movie called The Relic. The Relic came out in 1997. It's a monster horror film directed by Peter Hayams. Best on the best-selling novel Relic by Douglas Preston and Lincoln Child. It stars Penelope Ann Miller, Tom Sizemore, and Linda Hunt. I fucking love this movie. It's got the Jaws effect for me. It's something I watch all the time. Holds up. Now, granted, it's, I don't think it's as good as a movie as Jaws, but the effect of the joy I get watching it, just, I love horror films. I love monster movies. This movie is fucking cool. It starts off interesting, catches me from the beginning. It's got some real pulse pounding moments and goes overboard in the sense that I, it thrills me every time I watch it. So you basically have anthropologists and it's based in a museum for the most part. But someone sends back some um, artifacts that they're trying to look into. And there's a mishap with some of the, I don't know, let's say uh, plants or something. And a monster is starting to kill people and eat their parts of their brain. And... It's fucking amazing, this movie. The way Tom Sizemore plays it, this asshole type cop who's going to do what he needs to do to keep everybody safe. It's also got that Jaws effect where you have that shitty security guy you think is a shitty mayor. But this time, I think in this movie, the mayor kind of pulls it out in the end. The kind of correction from like Jaws. But Tom Sizemore's got to solve this fucking murder. Because there's a whole bunch of dead people on a boat. It's tied to the shipping manifest. Uh, then there's a person found dead at the museum. He's kind of tying it together. and He's got to deal with this shit. And he's going through a divorce. It's just... He plays it so well. I'm not even a big fan of Tom Sizemore. And I'm not sure I really knew at the time who Penelope Ann Miller was. But... Fucking wow. I, I get so much joy out of this movie. It's like I said. It's like the feeling I get when I watch Jaws. I'll, I'll just put it on and just get caught up in it for the longest time and they get a little i think at the same time it was another cool movie that came out called mimic which had to do with genetically altered um i don't know kind of bugs to take care of a, a, a plague or something like that and they introduced it into the and these creatures whatever this is just a different slant but when I compare them both, I've got I've watched this ten times more. I mean, I can't tell you how many times I've watched this movie. It's sitting out right now. It's one of the things I alter when I lose signal or I can't watch something online. It goes right in, and it's not even that. I mean, it's not even that great a movie. If I wanted to be the critic, uh, real neutral and professional, but I, I mean, you're not gonna find a lot of flaws in it, but. Just the absurdity of it, his attitude, or his, I say his, but it's the actor Tom Sizemore. The, the cast that everybody around, everybody, the whole chemistry works. It's, uh, you know, you, you hate the people you're supposed to hate. You're annoyed. You want this person to fucking die. And there you go. It'll happen. There's a plot reveal twist. I don't give much of that away, but there is some connection to the workers and the work that they're doing and on how um, in the other country there was sh uh, shaman type rituals they would do and that kind of pieces things together with this fucking monster who's like the size of a bull it's just gig fucking enormous and it just goes fucking berserk, and I think they even show, like, some of it's pretty gross in that sense. It's got a 
pretty cool, um, but not too overboard. It's not like Tarantino fucking fountains of blood spraying everywhere, but you'll see some fucked up shit. You'll see how it fucking gets to the brain, for lack of a better word. But I just can watch this movie over and over. There's no end to the enjoyment. I think it might be a problem. I don't even think it, like, got some critical acclaim. I don't even know if it, you know, did well. I just know when I sometimes decide to do these podcasts and I turn the mic on, it's, I was doing something or working and I'm going to decide to do a movie type podcast. And I'm like, oh shit, I watch this movie all the fucking time. Turn it on. I should go to the sites and get a little information on it, but I don't think it did well. I don't think it even holds up well for most people. (laughs) But I just fucking get a fucking thrill out of it. It's got, and yeah, you'd probably, you know, say it could be stealing lots of concepts, but do it right, pay homage to them in a cool way. I just love the way it fucking works. It's got a little bit of, um, like I said, wit and charm from Sizemore, but it's more of a, I can't fucking believe, you know, what's going on in my life, personal life, and I got to deal with this shit. And then he gets, um, there's an element of, you can't keep the museum open until we figure out what's going on. And then this something happens where they think they figured it out, but it's a a false uh, clue, for lack of a better word, so I don't give too much away. And he's trying to fight with them, saying, no, you have to close the museum. And then they get the mayor involved. And I think it's fucking fun. Eh? I, I guess there's a lot of negativity, in a sense, I, maybe it's too cheesy or hokey. I just found it fucking fascinating, pulse pounding. I love a good fucking monster movie, and you don't get that much too much no more. I just, uh, I think maybe that's my love of looking for good Bigfoot movies. Or there's like thousands of B movie titles, and they are mixing creatures. So you'll have anaconda snake fucking creature with. Um, a fucking scorpion and a fish with a fucking dog. There's tons of these movies out there. Octopus with a, a shark. And it's in that same vein. Well, probably not even the same vein as Sharknado, which is probably a step above that in quality in that sense. Although it's meaningless fun if you even enjoy it. I just, well, I will watch them. I'll watch a stupid fucking movie on, um, what I watched was like a fucking five-headed shark. It was so fucking ridiculous. You watch these movies and they're so bad. I think it's probably a trend, like a quick turnaround. Bad effects, bad green screens. This one is just riveting. I love the way it's filmed, the acting characters that mingle in and out work on every level for me and you got the, a big fucking monster for me you can't go wrong and i don't know if even if yeah i guess a bull is like the right size but it's just not an average creature you would see it's got you gotta watch it the relic monster horror movie from 1997 I don't even remember who... I even said who directed it. I don't remember who it is. Peter Hyman's. Um, Yeah, just... What a fucking movie. I'd love to see people's reactions. Like, because... I get the feeling if... A majority of people watch, it's not going to be high on their list. It's just... I guess it just hits me on the right levels for me. But... Man, The Relic is a fucking awesome horror movie. Underrated, in my opinion. A must-watch. Surprised I didn't do it sooner, since it's always sitting out here. It's it's funny. I guess it was a good thing I straightened up an area and went through a couple of things. There's a little pile I put there in case shit happens with internet. Um, Just... 
give it a shot. I think you won't be disappointed It's if that's your thing. I mean, if you're not going to be into some horror, a little bit of like, whoa, what the fuck was that? And some snarky fucking asshole cop who's pissed he's getting a divorce. Watch it. The Relic. Take care, everybody. Peace.